Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, find the least number which when divided by 6, 9, 15 and 18 leaves the remainder 4 in each case but when divided by 7 leaves no remainder. So what is the given question? You have to find out the least number which when divided by 6, 9, 15 and 18. So when this number is divided by 6, 9, 15 and 18, we will be getting a reminder 4. In each case, we will be getting a reminder 4. Suppose if x is the number means x divided by 6 will be giving a reminder 4. x divided by 9 will be giving a reminder 4 x divided by 15 will be giving a reminder 4 and similarly x divided by 18 also will be giving a reminder 4. But this x divided by 7 will be giving a reminder 0 or you can say x is a multiple of 7. So you have to find out the least possible number possible in this manner. That means when it is divided by 5, sorry, when it is divided by 6, 9, 15 and 18, we should be getting a reminder 4 and when it is divided by 7, there should be no reminder or this number should be a multiple of 7. So how to do this? First you have to find out a number which is divisible by 6, 9, 15 and 18. So how you can find out a common multiple of 6, 9, 15 and 18? You have to find out the LCM. So LCM of 6, 9, 15 and 18. So how you can find out the LCM? So 6 can be written as 3 into 2. 9, 9 can be written as 3 into 3. And 15 can be written as 5 into 3. And 18 can be written as 3 into 2 into 3. So now you have to find out the LCM. So 3 you can take as common. So you will be getting 2, 3, 5 and 6. So 3 into 2, you can write as 3 into 2. So what you will be getting? Suppose you are taking 3 means 2, 1, 5 and 2. 2 means you will be getting 1, 1, 5 and 1. So you will be getting 5 into 2 into 3 into 3. That means 5 into 2 is 10, 10 into 9 is equal to 90. So LCM is equal to 90. LCM of 6, 9, 15 and 18 is equal to 90. So we know here when it is divided by 90, when our required x is divided by 90, you will be getting a reminder 4. How we got that inference? It is given that x when divided by 6, 9, 15 and 18 gives a reminder 4. That means x when divided by the LCM of 6, 9, 15 and 18 will be giving a reminder 4. And we are taking the lowest common multiple of 6, 9, 15 and 18. And when it is x is divided by the lowest common multiple, you will be obviously getting a reminder 4. So that is very common sense. 6, 9, 15 and 18. When this x is divided by each of these numbers, you will be getting a reminder 4. So x divided by the LCM of 6, 9, 15 and 18, you will be getting a reminder 4. Okay. So x percentage 90 or the reminder which you will be getting when x is divided by 90. The meaning of x modulus. So this symbol is modulus. x modulus 90 means the reminder you will be getting when x is divided by 90 is equal to 4. Or you can say x will be equal to 90 n plus 4. So n, n can take any value 1, 2, 3, 4 likewise. So 90 n plus 4. A multiple of 90 plus 4 will be giving you the required number x. x is equal to 90 n plus 4. So our aim is to find out what is this n. So n is what you have to find out. We know that a multiple of 90 plus 4, the remainder 4 only we will be getting. x modulus 90 is equal to 4. Or the remainder when we are getting x divided by 90 is equal to 4. So from that we understood that our required number is a multiple of 90 plus 4 or x is equal to 90 n plus 4. You have to find out the value of n. So what is the clue for finding out the value of n? It is told that when this x is divided by 7 it leaves no remainder or 90 n plus 4 is a multiple of 7. That is the clue here. 90 n plus 4 is a multiple of 7. Okay. So what is the next step? You have to find out n. So the next thing is you have to split up this 90 n plus 4 in such a way that it becomes a sum of multiples of n. So 90 n. So what is the nearest multiple of 7 that you can think of near to 90? 
84. 84 is a multiple of 7. 12 into 7 is equal to 84. So 90n plus 4 can be written as 84n plus 6n plus 4. So 84n is already a multiple of 7. So this 6n plus 4 also should be a multiple of 7. So that in total 90n plus 4 is a multiple of 7. And we know that 90n plus 4 is a multiple of 7. So this 90n can be split up as 84n plus 6n plus 4. This 84n is already a multiple of 7. So 6n plus 4 also should be a multiple of 7. So that is our inference. 6n plus 4 is a multiple of 7. So 6n plus 4, what is the least value of n possible for which 6n plus 4 is a multiple of 7? So you can do that by using trial and error method. That means 6 into 1 plus 4, 10. 10 is not a multiple of 7. Now give n is equal to 2. So 6 into 2, 12. 12 plus 4 is equal to 16. Again not a multiple of 7. When you are giving n is equal to 3, what will happen? 6 into 3 is equal to 18, 18 plus 4 is equal to 22, it's not a multiple of 7. Now n is equal to 4, so 6, 6 into 4 is equal to 24, 24 plus 4 is equal to 28, which is a multiple of 7. So the smallest number possible is when n is equal to 4. So once we got, once we get n, we can easily find out x. x is equal to 90 into 4 plus 4. Four. This is the least possible value that we are getting here. So x is equal to 90 into 4 plus 4 which gives you 360 plus 4 is equal to 364. There are other possible values of n also. n can take other values too. But you have to find out the least number possible. So you have to find out the smallest possible value of n where 6n plus 4 is a multiple of 7. So finally you will be getting your x is equal to 90 into 4 plus 4 is equal to 364. Now second question, find the least number which is a multiple of 9 and when divided by 5, 6, 7 and 8 leaves a remainder 3. A similar kind of question. So this, you will be very thorough with these kind of questions once you do this. So 5, 6, 7 and 8. What is the first step? You have to find out the LCM of 5, 6, 7 and 8. It is given that x is a multiple of 9, so x modulus 9 is equal to 0 and when x modulus 5, 6, 7 or 8, x modulus 5 is equal to 3, x modulus 6 is equal to 3, similarly x modulus 7 is also equal to 3 and x modulus 8 is also equal to 3. So first step is to find out the LCM of 5, 6, 7 and 8. So what you will be getting? 5, 6, 7 and 8. The LCM will be, when you are taking first here, 2. 2 means you will be getting here 5, 3, 7 and 4. So after that it will be 5 into 3 into 7 into 4 into 2, which gives you 840. So the, the, the LCM of 5, 6, 7 and 8 is equal to 800. 40. So that is the first step. First step you have to find out the LCM of 5, 6, 7 and 8. So you understood that x modulus 840 also will be equal to 3. When x is divided by the LCM of 5, 3, sorry, when x is divided by the LCM of 5, 6, 7 and 8, you will be getting the remainder 3 or x modulus 840 is equal to 3. Now how you can write it as the equation? So x will be equal to 840n plus 3. So multiple of 840 plus 3 will be giving you the x. Now our aim is to find out what is x. For that you have to find out what is n. So once you find out n, you can find out x also. x is equal to 840n plus 3. So now what is the next step? You know that 840n plus 3 is a multiple of 9. Or x40 n plus 3 modulus 9 is equal to 0. Now you have to split up 840n in such a way that it becomes a sum of multiple of 9. So 840n you can write it as 887n plus 3n plus 3. You are, find, you are trying to find out a number which is closest to 840 and a multiple of 9. So you see that 887 is a multiple of 9. So you can split 840n as 887n plus 3n plus 3. This 887n is already a multiple of 7, already a multiple of 9. So you can just leave it like that. Now 3n plus 3 also should be a multiple of 9. Then only this equation will be correct. 840n plus 3 will be a multiple of 9. Only when 887n as well as 3n plus 3 becomes a multiple of 
9. So 3n plus 3 is a multiple of 9. Now you have to find out the least possible value of n so that this becomes possible. 3n plus 3 should be a multiple of 9 and what is the least possible value for that. When n is equal to 1 what happens? 3 into 1 plus 3 is equal to 6. It is not a multiple of 9. Now n is equal to 2 means 3 into 2 is 6. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. So n is equal to 2 itself will be giving you 3n plus 3 as a multiple of 9. So our n is equal to 2. So what you will be getting? x is equal to 840 into 2 plus 3 which gives you 1683. So, 1683 is the least number possible which is a multiple of 9 and when divided by 5, 6, 7 and 8 leaves a reminder 3. Thank you for watching.